Earlier this evening, members from Utica's Police Reform Advisory Committee and the Black Leadership Coalition held a public meeting to discuss the city's report. Reporter Jasmine Allen listened in. She tells us about the reform plan and what the organization is asking to have changed. The city of Utica released their police reform plan last week and tonight was the community's chance to ask questions. The public meeting via Zoom was held with the Utica Police Reform Advisory Committee, the Black Leadership Coalition and residents. The discussion was led by the BLC and they reviewed all 12 proposed strategies. One member said that he believes there should be more cultural training for police officers. Another suggestion was for the city to have an independent civilian safety commissioner. Currently, Mayor Paul Mary holds the position, and members from the BLC think this is a conflict of interest. The group also pointed out an issue with the plan's idea of creating what's called green light districts. This would have the city install more surveillance cameras in the area to allow more coverage for potential crimes. The BLC disagrees with this, stating that it victimizes the civilian without focusing on accountability of police. They also suggested that police body cams stay turned on during an entire shift and physically can't be turned off by the officer. This is just one of three public meetings with Utica's reform plan. The next public meeting will be on March 1st from 7 to 8 p.m. with the Mohawk Valley Community College. The BLC says this plan is a step in the right direction, but there are topics to be considered before it's submitted to the state on April 1st. In Utica, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News.